Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you all for joining me for this video. I hope you're doing well and having a great week. So let's talk about some chronic fish room problems. Other than suction cups, right? that's my number one problem, which always fail in your accessories. You end up floating at the top of your tank. It's 2022, people. Can we finally make a suction cup that actually works? I mean, is that too much to ask? But I digress. It's not what this video is about. This video is about the next annoying thing. LEDs, LED lights, are they out? Are they dim? Are they blinking? Do you find your LEDs swimming with your fish when you get home? Alrighty then. So yeah, I have one of those old crappy plastic lids from a 20 tall, I guess I got it as a kit years ago. Uh, as you can see, this thing has seen better days. The lights don't work. They have been for a while. I really don't feel like spending the money on a new light. I don't feel like buying a new top. So this is what I'm gonna do. I've got my tools. I got my LEDs. I'm gonna fix this bad boy. All right, so I've set up a little bench. I'm gonna put all my tools and everything I'm gonna need. So I always have it right next to me. Here we have just some uh, basic cleaner. And here's my torch, which uh, is gonna cause a problem later. 100% silicone, of course. 100% people. Got my cork gun. Here's my LEDs. Lucky me, I have a bunch in the shop. Here we have some LED wire. Of course, we're gonna need my wire cutters. And over here, we have some shrink wrap and some buck connectors. That should be all I need for uh, for this job here. So let's get started. Hit that intro. All right, my first step is I want to set this up in an area where I can work, not have to worry about the mess getting everywhere. And what I want to do is to remove all the lime scale and all the crud that's built up over the years. Take a minute, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and join the Vinny's Aquatics Army. Thank you. So I'm gonna coat this thing really good, get it completely saturated, then I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes and it should be easier to clean by then. Now I know what you're saying, what kind of cleaner is this? It doesn't matter, I'm gonna wipe it down afterward. I'll show you when I get to it. While I let it sit, I'll let you see something I'm working on in the shop. Now this is a double-sided illuminated blade sign with a, this is all made out of aluminum, it's welded together and it has a eighth inch reveal all the way around the base. This side is removable so you can access the LEDs. Um, I'll probably be done with this in a week or two. I'll post a finished picture in the next video. Like Steve Wallace the camper says, step two except he celebrates it a little bit differently. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe this thing down with one part apple cider vinegar, one part water. This should remove all the residue from cleaning and it shouldn't cause me any problems with contamination afterward. You'd be surprised how many uses apple cider vinegar has. Not only is apple cider vinegar great to clean things with and you don't have to worry about toxicity, especially if you have pets, but it also has many health benefits and it's pretty cheap. Just add a little bit to your diet. Go look it up, people. Don't listen to me. I'm just a guy on the internet. Go look up the benefits of apple cider vinegar. Thank you, that's my PSA for today. All right, so this part here, I could have edited it out, but like I said, I'm gonna show you guys the good, bad, and the ugly. And Vinny is about to do something incredibly stupid here. Yes, <laughs> Vinny's doing something stupid, believe it or not. I saw this online where they use the torch to polish old plastic. I said, hmm. Let me give it a shot. And you know what? It doesn't work, okay? It's stupid and it doesn't work on this kind of plastic and it made it look worse. Look at me. Yeah, keep going. Ugh. Don't do it. And now, because I believe things I see on the internet, because you know if it's on the internet, it's gotta be true. I had to repolish and bring the shine back because I, I burnt it away. So, like I said, just, if you're gonna try that on your fish tank top, don't bother. It's a complete waste of time. 
and it will be a fail in the end. But I got to I got to shine back up. There we go. Did I waste the time? Okay, we shan't be mentioning that again. But let's move on to the next step, which is probably my favorite part of working with LEDs, believe it or not. Now, before we get to that, these are 65K LEDs. They pretty much match the uh, lumens of the sun. So I have a bunch of these at work, but you guys know you can order them on Amazon. You can get them on eBay. They're pretty much, I mean, when they first came out, they were really expensive LEDs, but they're pretty much a dime a dozen now. And probably the best, most affordable way to light your tank. Now, I'm going to get all my electrical connections done first before I stick anything down. That way I'm not tugging on the wires. It's easier to work with. Now, here's my favorite part. Believe it or not, I love peeling the tape off the back, the little backer, and I love sticking them down. Yeah, being these kind of simple sometimes. Now, I'm going to stagger these a little bit, find a nice spot to stick them down. I'm going to go with five here. Hoping that's not too many. These are pretty bright LEDs. There's three LEDs per per module. All right. There we go. All stuck down. My power wire will go through there. And like I said before, I'm just going to get my connections ready. When I bring this home, I can hook it right up. There we go. It's always good to have a, a pair of Y cutters and a, and a voltage tester in the pitch room. You never know when you're gonna have to do a little uh, little repair on something. And always have a voltage tester so you don't get electrocuted. A suggestion I have is when I do anything electrical in the fish room, I prefer to use buck connectors and then I will heat shrink wrap over them instead of wire nuts. I found that wire nuts, for some reason, they start to rust and you're always having problems with them. They're just, I don't know, I think this is a better way to do it. And it's pretty easy. And once you get yourself one pack of buck connectors and you get yourself one pack of shrink, you're pretty much done for life. That thing will last you for years in the fish room. Now, I prefer to do all this stuff beforehand. So when I get home, I can just tap it into my uh, master power pack. I'm just gonna crimp my buck connectors with my monkey wrench. Here we go. Give them a little tug, make sure we're good. Hey, here's something I always do. Look, this double stick tape is great, but it's not gonna last forever. So what I'll do is I'll go in there with my 100% silicone and my silicone gun, and I'll uh, put a little bit of bead of silicone around it to uh, make sure I don't end up with these LEDs floating in the water with my fish. So this here is what I use to power. I would say up to right now, it's probably this will be the 10th hood. I'm powering off this one power pack. Uh, these are 60 watt. You can order these online. You can get them anywhere. They're only around 20 bucks, And you can power multiple tanks so you don't have to worry every time a driver goes out in one of your hoods that you're out of luck. So this is what I use. Uh, I'm going to get ready to test this. But um, I do get asked all the time, how do you know if it's the LEDs or the uh, power pack that's bad? Ah, let there be light. There we go. All right, well, number one, if you get nothing at all when you turn it on, that could be anything. That could be the, the wiring, it could be the, the plug, it could be the LEDs, or it could be the power pack. Now, if it's blinking, well, that's pretty much gonna be your power pack. Uh, if they're dim, your LEDs are dim, that's pretty much gonna be your LEDs. Now, my recommendation is to have one or two little LEDs on the side so you can test your power pack that way. When you get a chance, go check out Benny's merch at Vinny's Merch Store at Teespring. Join the Vinny's Aquatics Army. So here it is, back in the fish room on the 20 tall. Yes, coming soon, we have a new addition to the fish room too. This is a sneak preview. Can you guess what's going in here? I think some of you already know, because I did put up a video about it a little while back. That'll be a new video coming soon, but I think it works fine. 
Very quick, easy LED fix. So let's wrap this up with a nice little bow on top. That's how I do it in the fish room when I need to fix my LED lights. Those things are constantly going out on me. They're driving me crazy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. I'm Vinny's Aquatics. Woo!